Okay, the next thing I'm going to go to is hot pink. I'm going to use something that's just laying around. I'm going to use a can of spray mount that has some paper on it. I'm going to use it for a sign. That was hard, wasn't it? We go over some colors there. We emphasize the area. And I'm just, I'm basically just spraying straight color on top of this stuff. Because these colors are transparent, you don't have to worry about the pink or the purple covering up something. It'll just, it'll just make whatever color purple and pink and blue makes so on and so forth. I come down here because this would reflect the opposite way. Pink going this way. And because it's a t-shirt and it's fantasy, what we wish a beach scene looks like, we can really do whatever we want to. We can put pinks and blues in the sand. Next thing I pick up is a neon yellow. And I fade that into the blue, which makes a green. And I fade that down into the pink. What you want to try to do is keep your colors from being too muddy. All right, now we're going to take some black, and we're going to paint a couple of freehand palm trees. Just doing the dagger stroke, as a lot of people call it. All it is is a medium line all the way down to a point. A little bit of grass. Take a little bit of shadow and pull off the sand, and it looks like you got a little bit of shadow there and a little depth. You could trick these palm trees out for days, or you can do them real simple. Got a little silhouette of uh, some trees in the background. And you're almost home free whole beach scene was done in about six minutes. That's not bad. How's that? The next example that I'd like to paint for you is something that I call the graphic beach scene. I will paint a scene inside this square and I will fade out some stuff here and I'll pop a couple of palm trees out and I'll show you in just a second. What I want to tell you, show you a little bit here is, though, is that I drew this out on a clear sheet of acetate and then I cut it out with a Badger Frisket cutting knife. Didn't take but maybe 15 minutes to do this. All right, here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to use blue. We're going to take a straight edge if we can find one. And we're going to just put it up there, and we're going to fade a color across here. And that's going to be our horizon. Nothing that goes outside this realm of this square is going to be on the design. That's why we have the stencil. We're going to take something that we've used in a previous video, stencil cloud. We're going to hold it up here. And we're going to paint that inside there like this. I'm going to take another straight edge again, and we'll stick it up the side here. And I'm just going to go against the edge of this design so that it doesn't get inside this square. On the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Take a little bit of blue on top there. 
no exacting measures that we're doing here. We're just having a little bit of fun. Badger lid as a moon or sun, whatever you want to call it. A couple of clouds fading in here. We're done with the blue. Next thing I'm going to use is hot pink. I'm just going to do this design in a couple of colors because we don't have a lot of time to spin on these things. I'll try to show these things pretty quickly. After you finish painting that color in, pull it off. And you've got a clean scene inside. Then I take it and I pull it down just a little bit on the edge here and pick up my purple gun. And I do slightly on the edge what I call a, a drop shadow, which gives it a little bit of shadow against the shirt. Gives it a little bit of depth, commonly used in graphic designs. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some black and I'm paint a couple of trees. These trees are going to be real simple kind of trees. And uh, something that's uh, a little bit easier for you to do. This is what you would call a real quick tree. Something you can do real fast. You don't have to have all the palm fronds on it. But still gives you the feeling of a palm tree. And it's something that you can get away with with graphic design because you've got a little bit of stuff going on here. But you can also put a more realistic tree with it, obviously. A couple of freehand birds. And this time I'm going to write like couple of names on there. Bobby. Love. Julie. And a lot of people would want it tagged on the bottom with wherever they're getting uh, their shirt painted. I'm from Panama City Beach. So I'm going to write Panama City Beach underneath here. Notice I took the first word and I did a kind of a punk, and then I did the next two words as a strip. And then I would take some purple and just go over the letters a little bit with some shading. And it's a wrap.